This week on The Muse, the testing site at the Paris City Council Chambers has been extended through March 31st as the first cases of Omicron are detected in California. And the first public hearing on district election mapping has taken place and we have all the details on this new process. Plus, the 215 Placentia Interchange is under construction and we are here to help with traffic congestion. It's all ahead on the Weekly Muse and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome back to the Muse. We begin today with an update on the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. With the recent spike in COVID-19 cases over the holiday, largely due to the Omicron variant, the COVID-19 testing site located at the City Council Chambers has a new schedule and has been extended through March 31st, 2022. Effective Thursday, January 13th, 2022, the site will be open Thursday through Monday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and closed for lunch daily from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. and from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. The site does accept walk-ins while supplies last, but the best course of action is to make an appointment. Appointments are verified and those with an appointment must show confirmation. All walk-ins and appointments must have a patient ID number ready. Appointments can be made and a patient ID number can be attained by registering at lhi.care slash COVID testing. This surge of cases by the Omicron variant will also see a slight reduction of City Hall services, specifically offered by the Community Services Department or those with indoor functions. Effective January 6, 2022, all indoor City Recreation classes have transitioned to online. This applies to courses and classes organized by the city's community services department and does not reflect classes at local school districts. City classes and programs are expected to resume in person on January 31st, 2022. And the city of Paris hosted the third of four public hearings on district elections on Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. The City Council received their first looks at potential maps drawn for the city and held their first discussion on these boundaries in open session. The City of Paris launched a community outreach effort in fall 2021 to generate feedback from residents about how it elects its City Council. Included in this effort were two workshops, one virtual and one in person. And at the City Council meeting on September 28th, 2021, the Paris City Council voted to 3-2 to proceed with the district elections process. Currently, the City Council consists of a directly elected mayor and four council members who are elected at large. Under a district-based election system, however, the city would be divided into equally populated districts. A candidate must reside within an election district to be eligible to run for that council seat. Residents are encouraged to view the three city council boundaries draft map options or draw their own maps using the online mapping tool on the city's website. Or residents may submit maps for consideration to district elections at cityofparis.org by January 18th, 2022. The fourth and final public hearing is tentatively scheduled for January 25th and will be cemented in the coming days. And now let's take a look at the weather for the upcoming week. The holiday season may be over, but the nights will remain cool with lows this week heading down into the low 40s. The wind will continue to blow mostly out of the north and northeast. Also, there will be a slight chance of rain on Monday, so make sure and carry an umbrella and a jacket with you if you're going to be out and about. Stay safe, Paris, and now back to the Muse. All right, wrapping up today with the 215 Placentia Interchange. Lanes will be reduced nightly in both directions on I-215 near Placentia Avenue from Wednesday, January 12th through Friday, January 14th, and Tuesday, January 18th through Wednesday, January 19th from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. At least one lane will be open at all times. Lane closures will allow crews to work on the framework for the new bridge. Located between Ramona Expressway to the north and Nuevo Road to the south, the 215 Placentia Interchange is designed to meet the needs of the area's growing population. The project will add northbound and southbound ramps, realign East Frontage Road, widen the Placentia overcrossing, and add lanes from Harville Avenue to Indian Avenue. 
RCTC expects this project to be completed sometime in summer 2022. When traveling through the project area, please allow extra time, use alternate routes, and follow posted speed limits. Follow at the RCTC on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all your latest updates on the Placentia 215 interchange. And finally, don't forget to put this on your radar. Our annual Snow Day event will be back in action for the upcoming year. Join us on Saturday, January 29th, 2022 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in downtown Paris. Located at 126 South D Street, come join us for a day in the snow. Come enjoy the coolest event in town where kids can play in the snow, make a snowman, and even go sledding. This event is free to the public, but we'll be offering hot chocolate and snacks for an additional purchase. Please dress warm so you can enjoy the festivities in the snow. And that'll do it for your weekly muse. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at City of Paris, and subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around the clock continued coverage wherever you are from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Stephen Hale, and that's the Muse.